Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I'm Samurai TX, and I'm Sword Snake. And the last time we left off, we um, talked to the producer, D. Vasquez, and as it stands, her alibi was pretty much clear because the monkey head was um, blocked the pathway at 2.15 p.m., and the murder happened at 2.30, so at the moment, she couldn't have done anything. Neither could have Salmonella or the other bigwigs. None of them could have done anything because it was blocked. Oh, and when we left off, somebody told us that it was too early for giving up. I wonder who that is. We'll find out. Because we've already read this part, we're going to skip it. Huh? You've got one lead. But Mia, it's you! Yay! She's back for this episode. Excellent! Things have got better. What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble? I'd say so. What did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, yes, I remember now. I'm not going to read it because I, um, you know, read this part already. Okay. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should get back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I, want, than I was before. Well, we're going to um, listen to Mia, actually, and go back to the studio. October 18th, Global Studios, Main Gate. Mia has told us to go back to the studios, so it looks like we're not going to give up just yet. <sighs> okay, looks like she's tired. Well, what's wrong? <sighs> Weapon snapper! She's been chasing that boy this whole time? God, I'm surprised she's still standing. To be honest. Then again, she fell over when she was chasing him. But I'm surprised she's even standing and breathing after. When, when I ca catch him, I... Uh, sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. I... I got a hostage now, whippersnapper. A hostage? Um, what happened to the boy? Uh, if, if I see him, uh, then I'll lay, lay him flat. My, what a violent old lady. Uh, she pretty much is at the moment, isn't she? Actually, I met with the director just now. <laughs> My heart, it don't feel so good. Is she okay? Before I go, I'd like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right, she was saying that she wanted to visit the studios where he died. The hostage. What's this about a hostage? Oh, when that boy was running away... He dropped this and ran. He will come back for this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we give him that. Good idea, Miss Oldberg, might I? No! I'm catching that brat if this is the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? A trade? I wonder. Actually, yes, there is something we have. Um, because she said she wanted to visit where Hammer died, and that's Studio One, she would need a card key to get to Studio One, right? So, let's present it. Hey, that... That's a card. Studio One. Right, a card key to Studio One. I... I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit. He died 
I was his his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Oldbag? Studio One isn't my turf. You'll let me borrow? Borrow it then? If I give her the car key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. Well, we're gonna need we're gonna need that um hostage that um old bag has, so we're gonna trade her it. We're gonna give it to her. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. There you go, Miss Old Bag. Oh, she's got her breath back. It seems. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't have. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You take this and we're even, deal. What's this? A steel samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figured it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may use. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. I pretty much think it is. Right. I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off towards the studio. Well, we've um, we've been the Good Samaritan for today, haven't we, to Miss Old Bag? October 18th, Global Studios, Employee Area. Hey! Hey, you! W wait a sec! Phoenix, was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hatkins. I think he ran into the dressing room. Yeah, we're gonna go in the dressing room. October 18th, Global Studios dressing room. Chasing the kid in the dressing room since Mia told us he went there. He's sure he's sure to be in here somewhere. Found you! Huh? Damn it, he's getting away! Come back! There, he's back. How did she you know what? Yeah, how did she do it? Wow. This kid's a stranger to us, you know, if any stranger told the kid to come back, that kid will continue running away in reality. This one seems... okay, I guess. Yeah. Hey there, would you mind helping us out? Please? Uh, I'm Cody. Hello Cody, I'm Mia, Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo! Wow, he's got a change of tone. Look how he was to us and Maya earlier. He was like a little brat. Now look at him, he's obedient. And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Phoenix, can you, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. Yeah, after he just got rude to you. I'm not so sure either. The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's, um, the Bob. Ha! What would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? Hey, hey, watch that attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell at... Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. Stupid kid. So, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Looks like he's a little persuasion necessary. Maybe a bribe. Okay. Let's present the cards. Cody, this look familiar? Hey! My you are! You are, huh? You are! You know, Ultra Red, that card's pretty hard to get! Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb! I'll give you this, if you help me! But that's my card! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect! Eschewing, eschewing the very basis of our consumer society. Namely the principle of fair trade. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb! Well, what do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever, I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After after I went through all that trouble? If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. 
Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way, are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on! Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. Stop insulting me, damn it! I don't collect these goddamn cards! Premium rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? <laughs> yeah, maybe we are here. Yeah. Or maybe you're just hungry, okay? Alright, let's go to the employee area. We're gonna have to, um, you know, get a trump card of some kind. Um, where are we going now? Outside Studio One. Move. Outside Studio Two. Move. We're just looking around the place, okay? Oh! D Vasquez is gone. Right, we, we, we were just moving around the studio to see if we'd find anyone, but we went inside the trailer and no Vasquez. Oh, hi. Hello. What brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes. That um, girl with you. Does she seem a little different? Like she's the, even is she even the same person as before? Uh, nope. She's the same as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. Well, technically she's right, but we're just not telling her that you know that she's a spirit medium that's channeled Mia and none of that stuff. So. We are now in front of Penny, and we're going to call it a video here, because when we come back, folks, we will continue our investigation and talk to Penny. Until then, until then, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. See ya.